our social cultural project on the Japanese culture. In Japan, there's 127 million Japanese people. They are continuing to grow every year by 11%. And the Japanese are very smart and they understand 99% of what they learn. The life expectancy of the males is 77 years old and life expectancy for women is 84 years old. There are different areas in the workforce which include services, trade, manufacturing, construction, agricultural, fishery, and government. Within the government, they have the same branches as us, the exec executive, legislative, and judicial. There are six different political parties. Liberal De Democratic Party, Democratic Party of Japan, New Clean Government Party, Conservative New Party, Japan Communist Party, Social Democratic Party. Within the workforce, there's two different issues. The first issue is 22% of the population is 65 years or older, and that per percentage is going to increase by 40% by 2060. This means that there will be less jobs for the younger generation. The second problem is there is not enough women in the workforce. If um, the Japanese women and men are, their skin tone is pale and their hair is black with straight hair. Originally, the Japanese genes come from the Yoman and the Yavoi, which, or a mixture of these both. And then there's another gene called the Ainu, which are survivors from the Yoman people. Japanese people like to drink, and they have three different types of beers they have. And then the wine is called rice wine, and the vodka is called the shashu or the awash. And they also have um, wine coolers and called the shusha and the yumisha. And they also have whiskey called the highball whiskey. And they also like to play a drinking game, which you can read about. Hemp is a form of marijuana to, to us. Um, 3 million men and 5.3 million women in Japan smoke. Different sports for physical activity, which is the sumo. And the sumo wrestlers are between 220 pounds to 320 pounds. Form of judo and karate together. And they have baseball, which is formerly known as a national sport to them. And they have soccer. And in the 2002 FIFA World Cup was held in Korea. My family modern a typical family in the United States with a mother and a father living with their child and a grandparent. The Japanese traditional family is usually multi-generational with three to five generations living under one house. Um, a, an important part of the traditional family is the mother-in-law and the daughter-in-law dynamic. So they have what is called a rice paddle. And the significant aspect is when a mother-in-law feels that the daughter-in-law is mature enough in the family and has proved herself to be a loyal, productive member of the family. The rice paddle is then passed to her as the significance of one generation taking control over the other. Women of the family, the women are expected to give up their entire career and devote themselves fully to the family. We also have the problem, as Maria talked about, with the gray nation, meaning that the age is rising quicker than any other industrialized nation. So the women, therefore, have to take care of these elderly people in the home. For communication, 99% of the population speak Japanese. Saving face is an important part of their culture. They try to avoid humiliation or embarrassment at any cost. They rely fully on facial expressions, tone of voice, um, to tell how someone feels. There's an entire book for foreigners based on these nonverbal communication skills. Frowning while someone is speaking is a sign of disagreement. Um, silence is natural and expected, and you should not show affection in public, such as hugging or a pat on the back. Um, humor is avoided if the subject or mood is serious. Joking with a stranger is uncalled for because it may cause offense. And sarcasm, teasing, and outwitting can be seen as a personal attack. Um, they say in um, the Japanese culture that people are born Shinju, get married Christian, and die Buddhist. Um, this is Shinto Shintoism versus Buddhism. Um, Shintoism is the spirituality of the world and the life. It is also the oldest form of the Japanese culture. And in Shintoism, you worship in a shrine, versus Buddhism, where you worship in a temple, and it's concerned with the soul and the afterlife. This is a typical Shinju shrine, and this is a typical uh, Buddhist temple. Um, some other aspects of their spirituality are their lucky charm and religious ceremonies, including births, marriages, and funerals. As for the death ritual, how does a typical Buddhist funeral proceed? So it starts off with the water of the last moment, which is picked
chopsticks versus wooden chopsticks, which I used to eat with. So they take the um, bones starting from the leg to the head so that the deceased will not be upside down. And lastly is the grave. The grave has the name of the deceased on it. If it's in red, it means that they're still alive. They also have high technology in some of their graves where they have a touch screen showing um, pictures of the deceased. The Japanese healthcare system is very generous because it provides free health care to all citizens as well as its foreigners. Kaiokin in Japanese means health insurance for all. With Japan being the leading country of technology, it provides citizens with the use of high technology equipment. Medical services are offered through universal health care, the insurance system of Japan. Health insurance applies to an individual based on their age or whether a patient is a visitor, worker, or student. There's two types of insurances, employee health insurance, which applies to people who work in private schools, large companies, or employees of national and local governments. Certificates for health insurance are given to each employee by the employers they work for. National health insurance, um, people, must, people who live in Japan for more than a year must apply for national health insurance. They also are required to obtain an alien registration card. Campo means Han method, which is known as an herbal and non-herbal form of medicine. It uses a variety of formulas to treat the medical needs. And originated from China, Sho is the formula used to cure a certain diagnosis. There are six, six tools to determine Sho. Yin and Yang, exterior and interior, cold and heat, vascuity and repression, the five organs, as well as Kai blood and fluid. Pregnancy. Women are prohibited from showering seven days after birth because it is believed that they lose, they lose energy from doing so. During pregnancy, many women follow a strict diet. Breastfeeding isn't common, and if it is, you are known as a minority. During labor, fathers are usually not present. Women should not make noise during labor because it is seen as shameful. Breastfeeding outside the home is also seen as shameful or embarrassing. Women are strongly urged to eat foods high in protein. Moki and eggs are sometimes provided during onset of labor. After birth, they are not allowed to leave the home until two to four weeks. Healthcare practitioners. practitioners. Foreigners view healthcare practitioners as unprofessional because of the mannerism and their medical ethics. Healthcare practitioners must obtain surgical and specialist qualifications through the US or UK. Because practitioners over overprescribe, they are, they are overlooked by the government. Neutral. Japan has the lowest obesity rate, but the highest life expectancy of 83 years old. Chopsticks are used for small portion sizes as well to enjoy their food. The Japanese rice is made from a low, low fat complex of carbohydrates, which makes them feel full quickly. The summary of the video is that men and women over 40 years old are measured around their waistline. Men must be 33.5 inches or smaller, and women must be 35.5 inches or smaller. If they pass the measurements, they can cause a fine for the company that they work for. Vegetables. Vegetables are a very important part of nutrition for the Japanese. Vegetables are a woman's favorite meal, and one meal includes 13 different vegetables. Thanks for learning about the Japanese culture with us!